because I got those shoes will be looking dirty. Oh so old. Pretty good, pretty good. Hey guys, it's me, Scratch How To, and today we will be making a visual inventory. So, I actually have been thinking about this for a long time. So, well, not that long, but like long enough to be actually be considering it as an option. So, I've already made the project. So, like, I already have my costume. That, so, inventory here. And rename the sprite inventory. So mine's basically a 16 by 16. Uh, I mean, no, it's 4 by 4, which makes a total of 16 cubes. So what we're going to do is uh, Apple. So we just got to wait for it to load. Okay. We have the Apple. So now we can search again. Except... It's a one search of banana. Yeah. If they gotta wait for it to load. Why does it why does it take so long to load stuff in scratch? But anyways, yeah. And they're already the perfect size. Uh, let me just see. So you create clone myself. Actually I, pro I should probably stamp. Okay, let's switch costume. So if I put this in here, yeah, I'll obviously bananas. Oh yep, they're already a good size. <clears throat> okay. When Grease Fly clicked. Forever broadcast make inventory. So let's make a new message called make inventory. When I receive make inventory, we're going to be using clones, but we can also use stamping. But uh, so let's use stamping instead. So we will erase all. Okay. So for what let's make a new block called create and then we add inventory. File screen refresh. Okay. Now let's make a new variable called equip oh, sprites. And the most important thing, the list, which is inventory. For all sprites. The reason I used clones before was to detect the equip, but now we can just say equip to blank here. You duplicate the one I received, make inventory uh, block, and then, I mean, hat block, and then instead of erasing all, we just add create inventory here. Actually, we delete, let's delete all of inventory, and then let's add apple, and then let's add banana. Bananas because it has to match the exact cost. You said make sure your inventory will be like at the bottom because that's really important. So now, when I see make inventory, let's make a new variable called I for this part only. This will determine uh, our where uh, which clone I mean, which stamp it, it would be. So set I to one, but first, we want to position ourselves. So according to mine, it would be negative 180 as the X position. And then it'd be 135 as the Y position. So it makes it makes me go to the uh, top left corner. Basically how I did that, I just did 480 divided by 16. So I got it from divide 480 by 2.65. Which to get that you need to divide. So like let's say your the the length and width was uh four so you would divide you would divide how many it would be by 1.5 and then it would get you this and then 180 and then zero minus that i know pretty complicated math but so let's add so it would be width and then it would be height Okay, so now we just put the width here. Okay, for the Y. The Y, I did the same concept, except I just changed 
the 480, 4360, and you don't add the zero minus because we want to start at the top left corner. Okay, so let's repeat the length of inventory. Now, the length of inventory and the length of inventory are two different blocks, so that's why you don't really use them that much. But right now, we're not going to get that deep into this. Okay, so now. We switch costume to item I of inventory. If we are uh, the mouse down and we're touching mouse pointer, which means that we're being clicked on, then we set equip to item I of inventory. And then, wait, but first we want to switch costume to inventory, and then we want to stamp. Because if wait and and let's actually uh wait no no can we leave this here so because this will allow the inventory to be because whenever you stamp something it automatically goes to back layer wait so do we want wait the inventory wants to be here or wait no it goes into the front layer right sorry instead of the back layer it goes into the front layer automatically so that's what we need to switch the inventory and then we stamp okay so now. So since mine is four by four, we're going to detect like, what if we go, what if we have our fifth sprite, right? So we want it to go back here. We want it to reset. So let's grab the module block. If I module, and then your width, right? My width is four cubes. If yours is like five, six, you have to put five, six or something like that. Is equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, then we have to set our X back to, 0 minus 4a divided by width divided by 1.5 and then we change y by and then so I got mine from doing 360 divided by 4 so uh, basically so my height is also 4 so if it's like 4, 5, 6 you got to put that here and then you place this here change it by 0 minus and then we can put the height here wait no actually we don't need the, uh, wait, yeah, we can put the height here. Okay. So now, we know, and we have to do, put, let's put the width in the module block so that we don't have to do anything else. And then else, we change x by, and then we change it by, well, for me, it would be 480 divided by, and then the width. Because that's how many times I need to step before I can fill it up, uh, all of it up. And yeah, that's. And then all we have to do is add a chain drive by one. And then we we just hide. Okay, so even when you're hidden, it will still stamp. The blocks will still stamp. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, I forgot to add these inputs. Four four. Alright uh, guys, sorry, my 4 year was wrong. We're actually supposed to put this as the go to X and go to Y. Well, and then we have to divide the height here. Well, actually, we have to multiply this by 33.75. Okay, so now our uh, inventory, as you can see, kind of works, but we can just set this to 35, or actually set it to 30. Oh yeah, I forgot because we gotta uh we first here we gotta set we gotta go to x zero zero here. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. We also need a stamp once we switch costume. Okay, as you can see, our sprites are actually not positioned well. So uh, let's just double check my code. Okay, so this is what it's. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. Sorry. So this is actually what you're supposed to set here. And the height... Uh, let's just leave the height out for now. Let's add this to inventory. Do more. Now, what if we add even more? And... Oh, my God. If I module... Oh, sorry. I actually put the G about what here. Look, as you can see, now it curves back around. It goes here, and then it curves back around. So now it's, if we duplicate this even more, now boom, now it's 
apples and bananas, apples and bananas. I see it's not exactly like kind of perfect because whenever you stamp something, you get scratched. The quality's pretty low, but at least we get to save clones. I mean, you're only really gonna notice if you use like full screen. You can see that's kind of blurry. But yeah, so it's actually really easy to make a visual inventory on Scratch. I mean, you'd think it'd be harder. But anyways, see, this is what happens if you set, change the Y positions. Oh yeah, yep, yeah. that looks pretty bad. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share. As of the channel, please subscribe, hit that notifications bell. Have a wonderful day. This was, I, it, I thought it'd be harder to make an inventory game, but it's actually not. Okay, did you want it? It's literally this easy. Would you look?